Society. You guys are such a dream. I'm like, I just appreciate you so much. Okay, so anyway, here's the Barbara Walters deal. Okay, so I've been on The View a whole bunch of times, right? And I, you know, those girls, I know them a little bit, but not very well, and they're all very, very nice. Now, this happened when Lisa Ling was still on the show before she ruined her career and decided to do important work. All right, so, <laughs> so anyway, uh, so anyway, I had been on The View a bunch of times, but never when Barbara Walters was there. And granted, she's an icon, and I admire her, and she's definitely a trailblazer, but one thing that bothers me is she doesn't seem to ask the question. You know, she gets the great interviews, and, you know, she gets Angelina Jolie, who's super crazy, and, you know, I have a lot of questions for Angelina Jolie. <laughs> That's the only thing is Barbara Walters is, you know, she's very soft with the interviews and that kind of bothers me. But anyway, she's, she's great and all this stuff. So, um, I, I notice when I've done that show, it's very fun and loose, but I've never been on, there on Barbara Day. So I go and the minute I walk into the ABC building, I can tell everything's different. There's a lot of panicky gay PAs talking their earpieces. No, Barbara wants the brooch. No, the one that goes with the Chanel suit. I'm putting out fires. So. <laughs> Everybody's very tense. I don't know what the fuck Barbara does to these poor people, but they are scared shitless of her. <laughs> As are all the other women on the panel. So I go and I don't even like try to talk to her or anything. Although let me just say this. I love doing The View and I know that I won't do it anymore, but <laughs> up until this, I loved it. And one thing was you meet the weirdest people on that show. Like one time I was walking down the hall at The View and I saw uh, Nancy Sinatra, right? These boots are made for walking. <laughs> First of all, she's had more face work than me and Michael Douglas put together. Secondly, oh, we'll get to him in a second. Anyway. So anyway, she's got the crazy boots, right? And she looks at me in the hall, and I, I mean, I never think anybody's gonna know me, right? So she looks at me, she sees me in the hall, and I didn't even wanna bother her, and she stops me and she goes, you're a funny dame. And keeps walking, I love shit like that. Okay, so anyway. So anyway, um, I see Lisa Ling in the hallway, and when I was uh, just engaged to Matt, she and I uh, uh, had lunch together with Matt and her then boyfriend. So I said to her, I go, hey, remember the guy we had lunch with that one time? Well, guess what? You know, I'm getting married to him now. And she said, oh, that's great. He seems so nice and all this stuff. And I said, she goes, would you want to talk about it? I said, no. I go, don't ask me about it on the show because we're going to do some kind of a weird charity tie-in where we have people donate to a charity instead of giving us presents. But I said, I don't know anything about it yet, so, you know, don't ask me about on the show. So she's like, okay. So anyway, now it's time for me to go on the show. And by the way, this is how D-listy my life is. This is what I was on The View to promote. Typical. I was co-hosting the Greenwich Village Halloween Parade for the Sci-Fi Channel. <laughs> planet couldn't meet my quote. So, um, so anyway, that's what I'm there to plug, right? So I go on, and the first thing I notice is Barbara isn't even looking at me, right? So I'm talking to the girls, and they're all being very nice, and Barbara's just kind of down looking at her information card, like, so like, you will so never be on that post-Oscar special, I'm not even going to bother, right? But I was kind of fascinated by her, you know? So anyway, the girls and I are chatting about the Halloween special and this and the other, and then out of the blue, I hear Barbara all of a sudden perk up and say, so I understand you're engaged. And I was like, oh shit. You know, like I didn't really like have anything prepared to talk about that and all that stuff. So I said, well, I said yes, and my fiance and I are going to have some sort of a charity tie-in where we will have people donate to a charity in lieu of giving us gifts. But I said, I haven't worked out anything yet, so I hope to come back in a year. I hope you ladies will have me back, and I hope, I can, I hope to have a wonderful success story for you. So then she goes, a charity wedding? Oh dear, that's what Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones are doing. Totally stealing my thunder, right? So I'm like, oh, for Christ's sake. I'm here talking about the fucking Halloween parade. Now I gotta go up against Michael Douglas who has more money than God and his child bride in their fake wedding. So. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to raise money for this charity. I'm not, I can never raise that much money. You know, I'm not Michael Douglas. And, and by the way, let me just say this. I read in Liz Smith that when Michael Douglas married Catherine Zeta-Jones, what they did was they had their, you know, their child, right, that was, they already had the kid before they got married, and they had people make a check out to the baby, and that when the baby grows up, he'll decide what charitable donations to make with the money when he's 21. All right, that's bullshit, all right? <laughs> that 
is bullshit, because the charity that we ended up picking was AMFAR, right? The American Federation for AIDS Research. We had people make the checks directly to AMFAR. There was no, like, Kathy and Matt fund or any bullshit like that. <laughs> they just made the checks right to AMFAR. Although, let me just say this. I made everybody mail the checks to me personally so I could see how much they were. <laughs> Vicious. I was literally calling my own friends going, you gotta be fucking kidding me with that 25 bucks. <laughs> All right, you can come to the wedding, but you're not eating. A <laughs> hundred thanks. So, I mean, I'm just trying to raise as much as possible, right? So anyway, then, and I didn't know that at the time, but I'm thinking, oh, for Christ's sake, you know, Barbara's gonna fucking throw down with me now about the charity wedding. So then, you know, and so I just turned around and I said, well, I go, our, Barbara, our wedding is a little different because ours isn't shotgun. So... <laughs> reaction was exactly that. Exactly! <laughs> and let me tell you something, that's a live show, and it was, like, palpable in the audience. I mean, there was tension, right? So anyway, Barbara Walters does this thing that I've noticed powerful people do when you call them on something and they can't believe it. So she's got her card, and she does what I call retracto head. <laughs> which is, I say, well, ours isn't shotgun, and she just goes like this. fall off and roll down 59. So, so anyway, everybody can feel it, right? I look at the other girls on the panel and they're just like, oh. I'm making Barbara mad. Stop it. So, so I go, you know, ours isn't shotgun. And Barbara Walters goes like this, really snotty. She goes, well, this isn't either. Like that, with that cadence, like very like, you know, um, I know you are, but what am I? Or, you know, I thought she was gonna say, you're not the boss of me. So I was like, I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting there on The View, trying to get people to turn on the sci-fi channel for the Halloween parade, and Barbara's throwing down with me. I'm like, bring it, bitch! <laughs> So anyway, finally I said, well, Barbara, you're in bed with all those famous people I'll never meet. What do I care? And then she goes, well, you certainly won't. <laughs> and then Lisa Lane cuts in and she goes, so uh, if you live here in New York, then you can go see Kathy Griffin tonight at the Greenwich Village Parade. It's going to be so much fun. I'll be there. And I swear to God, out of frame, you hear Barbara Walters go, well, I won't be there. <laughs> Commercial. It goes to the commercial break, so my segment is over, and I'm sitting on the couch for a second, and I thought, here's the thing, I'm a really paranoid person, like, I think people are trying to kill me every day, so I'm sitting there, and I thought, you know what, Kathy, you probably really exaggerated this in your mind, Barbara Walters is a very powerful woman, she's, you know, it's not about you, so I decided to test the waters a little, because I'm always thinking, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, Barbara Walters is standing over there with Meredith Vieira. So I turn and kind of like in their direction, I said, thanks for having me, ladies. It was really fun. So Meredith says, thanks, Kathy. It was great to see you. And then Barbara Walters just doesn't look up from her card. She's like this. All right, so I leave. Even still, I'm thinking, you know what? I probably made that all up. I'm sure it was fine. <laughs> Two months later, I'm doing Hollywood squares, right? Another square is Star Jones. So I don't know Star that well, I only know her from doing The View. So I go up to her at lunch, and I go, Star, I don't know if you remember me, but, and then Star Jones goes, girl! <laughs> Which can't be good, right? <laughs> so I said, what? And she goes, remember you? We still talk about that date. <laughs> What? Why? And she goes, in fact, when Barbara's not there, we take turns being you in the dressing room. 